guys and welcome back, I'm Adam Thomas. Thank you all so much for being here. In today's video, if you haven't already realized, we are gonna be reviewing the Sniper Photography Kit. The guys at Barber DTS have sent this over. Uh, this isn't a paid review. However, they have given me this for free, but I will be as honest uh, as I can and let you know exactly what I think of this. So, first things first, let's open it up. So we get rid of this sleeve. Inside the box, we do have a nice little write-up. This just basically explains what this kit is, uh, what it's supposed to do. All this information is on the website. Uh, I'm not gonna read through this, but I am gonna explain my thoughts on this. Get rid of the box. So the sniper kit comes in this really nice travel case. Uh, this is gonna keep it nice and safe. It is an expensive little bit of kit. So yeah, having this travel case just means that when you're doing conventions or guest spots and you dump it in your bag, it's not gonna get damaged or broken. It's gonna keep it nice and safe. Uh, it's gonna keep everything together. Inside, we have a USB charging cable. This is USB-C, so any USB-C will charge the light that you get with the sniper kit, but they do give you a cable. Uh, it does charge fairly quick. I tend to have it on charge overnight, so every day when I'm at the studio, it will be fully charged. Inside, you get all this lovely stuff. So it's all nicely presented. It's all nice and safe with all the protection of the travel case. Uh, so it's not gonna get damaged. The main part of the sniper kit is this OLED light. This illuminates your tattoo. So you're gonna get the nicest lighting possible for your tattoo. So if you're in conventions, obviously you're in an arena lighting situation, not the best for taking photos of your tattoo. So for a traveling tattoo artist, really good. In my studio upstairs, it is quite dark space as well. Obviously, we've got all the studio lights, but when you've got halogen lights above you, you've got soft boxes, you've got LED lights, you're getting a lot of different light sources. So when you're trying to take a photo on an iPhone, it can get quite sort of mismatched and not really give you a, the true representation of the tattoo. This stops all that. So it's no LED light at heart. So basically an LED light panel. You can fully adjust the brightness so you can go all the way down to 10% all the way up to 100%. For me, I have this on 100% all the time. It tends to overexpose the area that I'm sort of trying to take a photo of, but then I use the exposure settings on the iPhone, drop that down. That way I'm getting the maximum light on the tattoo. I'm dropping the exposure on my iPhone, which shouldn't reduce any of the quality. So if you've ever tried to take a photo in low light, it's gonna start getting grainy because you're artificially boosting the image with this sniper light, have it on 100%, really illuminate the area that you're trying to take the photo of, then just drop your exposure on your phone. Um, that way you're gonna get the best quality image. You can adjust the temperature on this as well. So if you've ever had an LED light, you can make it go really warm or you can make it go really cool. For me, I have this on the coolest setting. It's entirely up to you how you'd wanna change that. On the back, you have this little LED panel. Shows you exactly how much battery life you've got left. Shows you what brightness you're on. So for me, it's on 100% and it also shows the Kelvin. Uh, let me just blind myself. And it also shows you the Kelvin, which is the temperature of the light turn that off. Moving forward from this, we have a ball joint. This allows you to attach the phone holder. Um, there are multiple holes you can mount it, so you can mount your phone on the side. You can also mount it on the top. For me, I've been mounted on the top. That's how all the images look, um, so I've been doing that. Uh, I did try on the side. It felt a little bit weird having your phone off to one side and the light on the other. It does cast quite a nice shadow across the piece if you wanted a bit more sort of depth. If you wanted a bit more depth to the piece. Uh, for me, I like the light really hitting my tattoo directly face on. It kind of flattens everything out a little bit, but it gives you a real nice representation of what you've done. So for me, I'd like to mount it on the top. Uh, so the way this mounts is it's a standard quarter inch, I think. It's a standard sort of mount. So if you've done any sort of photography, you've got tripods and stuff like that, uh, it's the standard fitting. So the tripod that I've got here and all of my camera equipment, uh, you can mount the handle straight onto a tripod. That way, if you're doing sort of time lapses and stuff, you can have this all set up, aiming at your tattoo uh, and take advantage of the lights and the, uh, the other bits of equipment that come with this. So the ball joint sits on the top. Unscrewing this, this drops this down so it gives you a nice 90 degree turn. Once that's locked in, you take out the sniper phone mount. That mounts onto the top. And then grabbing your phone, have full access to the screen of your phone so you can change all the settings, exposure, focus. This allows you to get a really nice illuminated tattoo. The 
big part of this kit is the CPL filter, which is a circular polarizing filter. I'll drop a link in the description, uh, which explains how this works. There's a lot of science behind a polarizing filter, which I'm not gonna go into. For me, I just look at this as a bit of witchcraft. Uh, if you've ever used a polarizing filter, the way that it works, by twisting the filter and adjusting where the polarization is, it just reduces any glare, any reflection, and allows you to get that real nice flat photo of your tattoo. There's a lot of controversy in the industry about whether you should or shouldn't use polarizing filters. For me, I feel like it's just the same as going from using a digital camera to using an iPhone, to using a Galaxy, to using a Google phone because they've all got different processors, they've all got different lenses, you are gonna get very different versions of that photo. A polarizing filter for me just allows you to get the best raw image of a tattoo, which represents what that looks like to the naked eye. So like I say, it helps reduce a lot of the glare, flattens it out. As we know, by putting Vaseline, having ink and wiping and all that sort of stuff, it's gonna create moisture, it's gonna create that reflection. The polarizing filter, in sync with the OLED light from Sniper. They work really well together. By reducing all of the glare, it just gives you a much, much cleaner, crisper photo. The way the polarizing filter works, this clip sits over here. Like I say, I've got the iPhone 13 Pro, so I've got all three lenses on this. It clears all of the lenses. You don't see any ring, any halo from this mount, so it doesn't interrupt anything. I've had polarizing filters before, and you can see the edges, so it looks a little bit like you've got a bit of a wide angle lens or something going on. It looks a little bit strange with this, completely crisp and clear, you can't see any of the lens. This on magnets just clips in. So when you've got the light on, and you're aiming at the tattoo, which has got a little bit of glare on, the way the polarizing filter works is you just rotate this in the mount until all of those reflections and all of that glare just disappears. It's weird how it works the first time you see it because it honestly just looks like witchcraft, but it will just give you a real nice, crisp, clear photo of the tattoo. So all in all, my honest review of this, like I say, I've been using this for the last week. It does take incredible photos. I'll show you some examples of with the CPL filter sort of in the right position and in the wrong position and how it just neutralizes all of those reflections and just gives you that real nice, crisp, high contrast image of the tattoo. The build quality is amazing. It feels really robust. It is a little bit heavy and it's a little bit bulky. So one of the downfalls for me is trying to use it at the studio. It's one, having to get all of this out just to take a photo. It does look a little bit extreme and your clients do give you a few funny looks. So the setup is a little bit annoying. It does take a little bit of getting you Used to. At conventions, it is going to be amazing because you are going to get that real nice focus light and you're not going to be interrupted by all the arena lights that are going on. The other downfall is the price. It is quite expensive. However, you do get a very good high quality piece of equipment. For me, when I first saw this come out on the market, the first thing for me, like a lot of people, was it's very expensive. Now having used it, seeing the quality images that I get from this compared to my raw images from an iPhone without any of this, the photos are just incredible. The quality and the build and how it's all presented, it feels like an expensive bit of kit. So the price does justify what you're getting. And if you don't know a lot about photography and you wanna know how people get such good photos of their tattoos, this is a great bit of kit to give you everything you need to take much better photos than just what you'd get raw from your iPhone. So there you go guys, that was my unboxing and review of the Sniper Photography Kit. If you wanna know any more information about how this works or anything that you think I might have found out while using this, please drop it in the comments and I'll try my best to answer it. Big thanks to Barbara DTS for sending this over to me. I'll drop links in the description so you can go and check them out and maybe get one of these. And I'll also drop links to Sniper so you can see all the write-up and how everything works and their idea behind all of this kit. This video here was one of my last reviews of a product. This video here will give you what YouTube recommends you to watch uh, and click here to subscribe like and comment on my channel thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all on the next video peace